name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. We acknowledge our sins. We acknowledge the mercy, the love and the forgiveness of God. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to healing and life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and deeds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. The prophet Elijah arose like a fire, his word flaring like a torch. It was he who brought famine on them and who decimated them in his zeal. By the words of the Lord he shut up the heavens. He also three times brought down fire. How glorious you are in your miracles, Elijah! Has anyone reason to boast as we have, rousing a, co rousing a corpse from death, from Sheol by the word of the Most High, dragging kings down to destruction and high dignitaries from their beds, hearing reproof on Sinai and decrees of punishment on Horeb, anointing kings as avengers and prophets to succeed you, taken up in the whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses, designated in the prophecies of doom to ally God's wrath before the fury breaks, to turn the hearts of fathers towards their children and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Happy shall they be who see you and those who have fallen asleep in love, for we too will have life. Elijah was shrouded in the whirlwind, and Eliza was filled with the Spirit. Throughout his life no ruler could shake him, and no one could subdue him. No task was too hard for him, and even in death his body prophesied. In his lifetime he performed wonders, and in death his works were marvelous. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice, let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his strong justice and right. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. A fire prepares his path, it burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth trembles at the sight. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all peoples see his glory. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship him. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In your prayers do not babble as the pagans do, for they think that by using many words they will make themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him, so you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be heard holy, your kingdom come, your will be done 
on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven those who are in debt to us. And do not put us to the test, but save us from the evil one. Yes, if you forgive others their failings, your heavenly Father will forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive your failings either. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's not that God doesn't want to forgive us, but we won't be able to accept the forgiveness if our heart is still hardened and perturbed and going over and over again the hurts that have happened instead of being free and being able to see what is actually going on. We can be blinded by anxiety and worry because of tensions in relationships and because of not being able to forgive and accept others when we hold out against them. So we pray for the gift and for freedom to be able to forgive. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of divine work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands to the praise and glory of God's name for our good and the good of God's holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here, provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth <coughs> are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be pulled out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, Eugene, our Emeritus, all those, the priests who serve your people, all who serve your people, and all your people everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may, through your grace, merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Let us now pray the prayer in our hearts of communion by desire for those who are not able to receive communion physically. Open your heart to receive Jesus. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. At this reception of Holy Communion, O Lord, for as this reception of your Holy Communion, Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the peace and the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain always with you. Let us go and live the gospel. Thanks be to God.
God bless you all.